Hello, and welcome to the Black Mind Podcast. It's Christmas, motherfuckers. Yeah, we're not recording next week. It's ice, motherfuckers. There might be a stream. <laughs> so, I, so until uh, until next uh, until next uh, until what the first week of January is it? Or the yeah, we're not. Yeah, stream. yeah, we're not going to stream. It's like first ish week. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be recording. We'll be recording. I think on January third. Yeah, we'll be recording yeah. January third, which means. Second week. Second week will be our next podcast out. Yep. Because this comes out every Thursday, right? So yeah. it'll be coming out on the 26th. Oh, fuck me. Wow. <laughs> wow. So. Wow. 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 Um, shit happened this week. Well, stuff happened. Kind Fun of, sort of. shit happened this week. Let me tell you about what shit happened this week. Mm. Um, I got shot. Chat, 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 chat. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, so we got some good news. We got some bad news. I played a lot of Halo. That's going to be the new thing for the next three months is I'm going to say I'm going to play a lot of Halo. <coughs> That's fair. Yeah. It's really good. I love it. I mean, uh, how many? So this is like what the uh, Reach Halo, right? Yeah. So Good. what maps are in it? I keep high fading ground. out on that. I have the high, high ground. ground. Yeah, it's like a high okay. ground remake. There's a there's a few Forge World maps in there. Okay. Um, there's Battle Creek, which is just a remake of Beaver Creek. Uh, there's like a bunch of like really crazy maps. From Rage. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there's Midship. They put a remake in Midship in there. I'm not really upset about um, the idea of midship being back because midship was always a fun map. The problem with midship is is that everyone's like, "Oh my god, it's midship!" Oh wait, no, it's not midship. Oh my god, it's midship. It's kind of not midship. It's it, midship. It's not midship. It, 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 it's 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 like midship, but it's not midship. And then there is midship. But there's like a really bunch of really there's a really good set of levels in there, and everyone should play it. That's my opinion. Mm. That's fair. Yeah. I, everyone's like, again, like my complaints from last time are really good. So. Uh, in other news, I also had a week off, so I got back into playing Breath of Wild on my Switch that is now docked. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to recharge. It's great. <laughs> So, I have been playing World of Warships. I'm going to be playing probably Final Fantasy 14 probably later tonight. Why? After we get done recording. So is everyone like just getting back into that game? Should I start playing it again? I only played. I I only played it for like an hour last time I played it because I got just got bored with it. But I, gotta, I promised. Uh, I promised a buddy of mine that I'd play with him for over over a little bit over the Christmas break, and I'm like, yeah, fine, fuck it. So you promised so Corey? I, I, no, I promised another friend. This is a new college Rory, friend. Rory, Rory, uh, no. Uh, it's one of our friends from Nate. So you probably not been on the show. Oh, we have to find him and um, force him to be on the show at gunpoint. Not really, because no, he Colin wouldn't care. Colin would look at you and go, "Do it." And then I shoot him in the deck, and then he goes, "Ugh." Uh, he wouldn't care. <laughs> Colin would be like, "End my suffering. Do it, you nerd." Eh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, like you have no power over him. <laughs> you have no power over me. Anyway, so so you're back <laughs> into the Final Fantasy XIV stronghold. I'm not gonna be back in the. I, I honestly, I think I'm gonna play it for like again. 
a couple hours, and then I'm going to fuck off and never play it again. And then Jeff convinces you to play Star Wars. Or not Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> Halo? Destiny. No. I've, again, I played Destiny with another one of my friends, and I lick, legit, I got off after our third, like, four-hour session, and I, like, straight up, like, set up a text, like, yeah, I don't think I'm playing that game again. Or you could play... That was... That was des and that was Destiny Two. Or you could play Halo, and life will be good. No, oh, I mean I intend to play Halo once I start back up to work. So nothing new there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Anyways, we got some things we got to talk about. We got to talk about Google. What happened with Google this week? What? Uh, Google fired. So Google has gained intelligence. They actually started rolling good roles for once again. Um, and they started firing activist employees. Huh? Yes, this has been going on for some time. So this is... I. You don't know this about this. This is news to me. So last month, Google fired four employees. And the reason for their firing, so like a big thing's going on with Google right now, where they're having like a lot of like turmoil in the uh, executive team and the employee team and the employee relationship. So like before, the executives and employees stood by side by side, and now the executive team is like, no, we have to make money. The employees are like, but 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 we're doing something wrong. So they're firing activists. Because the employees don't want to fucking suck their dick anymore, which is hilarious. Hmm. I didn't even notice that. So, all right, I'm going to read the Guardian article on it because the Guardian Ugh. article, it, it is the right. only so source already, on you, no, it. No, 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 no. You, you, you explained what just happened. You don't have to read trash to, to like get this point of cross anymore. But, but I am going to say this: it's like it's really funny to me that like people are like, well, like I don't understand why they're firing activists, and it's like, um. Because you're getting paid in order to basically do your job. It, it It's a very difficult situation for me because, like, at the same time, it's like, I think Google's, like, one of the most evil companies on the planet Earth. Eh. They're pretty damn fucking close. I mean, Facebook's worse, but, like... Ne Nestle's worse. Nestle. Nestle's way worse. Oh, yeah. Nestle's, Nestle's worse. What I'm talking about, like... like as, they have as much as I like buying their bo bottles of water, uh, Nestle's worse. Okay, at least yeah. we admit it. Okay, so Nestle's worse. <coughs> but, like, Google's, like... Google's evil by incompetence. Yeah, well, that, that's a lot of companies, unfortunately, yeah. actually. So, Google will do stupid things like create a search engine for China. Because they want those sweet, sweet search engine dollars. And the employees will sit there and rebel against them and then sit there and they'll sit there and give in. Now they're actively firing employees, which is hilarious. Yep. Because it's like, man, I wonder what happens when you read this culture of you can be an activist, you can make a difference, your voice matters to the executive team. And then you just fucking watch as like the entire employees rebel against you actively. Man, it's almost as if like hiring activists doesn't work out that well. That's just my opinion. <laughs> <clears throat> but like, like the big thing with me is like, is like, this is a trans woman that they fired and everyone's like, oh my God, it's a trans woman. It's like, as long as her code is good, she'll land on her feet fine. Yep. Because. It's probably me. And honestly, given that Google fired her, it, if her code was good. She wouldn't have been fired. Well, no, it's it's not even that. It's stuff like we're... So this is what she did, which is fucking metal as fuck. She basically made a bot that whenever anyone was complaining, opening files they shouldn't open, it would send a message to one of the executives. Okay, that sounds Aurelian as fuck. Yeah. So it would send a message to an executive because they said it was executive basically said oh everything's on a need to know basis how about no like if you need to know about this the document will be available to you and so whenever anyone would open up the documents he would get a message basically saying this person opened this document this person opened this document this person opened the document and this was on how any no? document yeah so i can see why she was fired but i'm also like man that's fucking brilliant <laughs> 
the fuck? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> That's a fucked up process. Pretty much. So, like, I don't want to sound like, um, I don't want to sound contrarian or anything like that, um, but I do want to say this, is like, she'll probably land on her feet. Maybe. Yeah, most likely. I, I think that I think that if she's smart, she will probably take her talent and move into, into something else. Like, she could probably make a game very easily on by herself, and that's going to be fine. Well, yeah. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Um. What else happened this week? Uh, I got finished with my uh, semester work this you, week. You finished your semester? Yep. <laughs> <coughs> I feel pretty confident about my grades. Mm -hmm. But I guess we'll find. I'll guess I'll find out later this week. Yay! 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 I got all B's. So I'm gonna tell my parents. I'm gonna ask my parents when are they gonna buy me a bar. Bar? Yeah. A bar? Okay, you guys don't get the joke either. But, but like, a bar is in you go to to drink? No, no, no. Okay, J Josh has the logical one. I'm thinking of the Browning automatic rifle for some reason because I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why do you want one? Concern. <laughs> okay, so you can tell we're from different planets. Uh, <laughs> so Alan's thinking. Alan's thinking. Bar is in machine gun. And uh, Alan uh, is wrong. <coughs> Josh is right. <coughs> and I'm thinking of a more legit use of like, yeah, an alcohol use bar. Yeah. Uh, but basically, uh, so there's a very thing where Amy, Amy Wong goes uh, in future M. She goes, goes, oh, I'm going to go shopping for a car. My parents said that if I get all B's, I get a bar. I got all C's to buy me a car. It's like, oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. So, I got all B's. I'm happy. I got one A. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Gonna get a bar. That's a good one. Bar of machine guns. By the way, if any girl ever. Said, You're welcome for that. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best one. <clears throat> what did you post? Uh, yeah, I got my grade backs. Josh, Josh, and I are working on games. I did more work <laughs> on my video game. That's good. Good things are happening. Good things are happening. Damn right. Good things are happening. Good things are happening. Uh, I need to... Oh! Uh, we didn't talk about this. What? But we, we should. Uh, Witcher. The Witcher TV show came out. Oh, uh, yes. I heard good things about it. Yeah, it's really good. Alan? Yeah? What did you do this week? Uh, I finished my exam. I went and saw a movie that I'm not going to talk about here. Mm -hmm. It was at best okay and disappointing at worst. Mm -hmm. I'm leaning towards the other way. Mm -hmm. um, I played video games. What video games did you play? World of Warships. What else do you expect me to play? Uh, World of War what Tanks? You... I'm, I... No, World of Warships, not War Tanks, Warships. I expect you to play World of War Tanks. No, I don't want to play War Tanks. Mm. I'm going to play War Tanks, I'm going to play War Thunder. War, War, War. War, 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 War. <coughs> Dawn of War. Eh, Christmas Simulator. Maybe one, may, maybe one and two. Mm -hmm. Um, I got some fucking sick-ass pr Christmas presents from my Christmas party last week. Oh, good for oh. you. Nice. Yep. You had Christmas party? Yeah, uh, I take part in a event at a local store called. Uh, oh. And it's uh, that it like what you do is you say yeah you pledge fifty bucks that you're gonna spend on a, on your the person that you're gonna be doing it for. Mm -hmm. From there you go out you get their Christmas list you buy something off their list, and you put it and they, they you give it to the store and they wrap it and put it on their tree. And I'm like sweet cool. Um, 
I didn't. Ex- I I actually entered it late. I entered it a full week after it, so I was like a late entry. So I was like, "Fuck, okay." Mm-hmm. Got my name another week later, a week later on the following Saturday, and I was like, "Guys, I need this because like I'm not gonna be able to come in next week because I got to study." And they're like, "Oh, well, here's the name." I went, bought the guy his present, and then I went home and studied. Mm. Saturday I rolled around and I was like, "Okay, I'm actually pretty relaxed. Let's let's I'm gonna have a nice day off." Went down, partied, had had a fun time, and then I got then we then we handed up presents and I was in the like the middle of like I was at the middle of the stack and <laughs> I got handed a box and it was a big box and I was like, I don't remember I don't exactly remember what I put on my Christmas list, but uh, I'm a little concerned like to the point where I'm like, uh, it's a sex doll you wanted. Uh, uh, fuck off! <laughs> I'm not dark. I'm not dark elder, nor am I slanesh. Um, but no, but I got, most. Uh, I hope, but some people are. My, oh, there are some people in there, and there's one guy who's sitting next to me because, like, I, I managed to sit down at the table. One guy got his present, and he's like, I put him out a bunch of like absurd things on my list. If I if somebody got me my absurd things, I'll be impressed. And then he got his box, and it's as big as his chest, and about as tall as as about as like, it's like as wide and as tall as his chest. And he's like, oh, shit. I think they got my my, uh, my extremely, like, over-the-top requests. To which I just laughed out loud. And I was like, oh, my God. This is what we get for being fucking cheeky and coy. And then, um, open our presents. And I got a fucking piece of terrain that I really wanted to get it my hands on that was 120 bucks. And That's good. I got some bases for, uh, my project that I'm going to be starting next month when the models release. Yep. So I had a good, I had a good, uh, I had a good weekend that weekend. Mm. <coughs> <sighs> I had a, um, I worked most of my weekend. I worked most of this week. Yes. Yeah, uh, but... yeah, kinda. Yeah. I, I should have been built making, hand making a Christmas present for my sister-in-law. Josh is an evil <laughs> person. No, because this is actually thoughtful, not like the freaking douchebags that are like, I'm going to give you this book, but it's under 30 layers of packaging slash metal slash wood slash chains. That is like, I'm very not that guy. thoughtful, Josh. <laughs> that is so thoughtful. Because I'm not that guy. Because <laughs> this gift waffle. is so... <laughs> So I'm just going to talk about my birth, like not birthday, Christmas gift. I'm going to give to my sister-in-law because you know this is just a whole thing of like I was asking her what she wanted. She's like, oh, I like blank, 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 blank. Oh, and some stuff from the store at the mall. I was like, okay, cool. I'll go to the mall and I'll see what's there. And this this is the new mall that came up over in the airport that was beside my town in Leduc. Mm -hmm. So I was like, sure, I'll. Check out that Leduc. mall in Leduc, and uh, I haven't been um, been in this new mall at all ever since they built it. So I was like, I'll just check it out. And I looked up and down the mall, and I'm like, this is actually not a bad mall, but it's just clothing. Like all it is is clothing slash food court. So it's like, okay, this is not my mall, but I mean, there's still it's still a decent mall. Like it looks good. It's I say it's well heated and stuff. It's not you don't feel cold or anything. Mm-hmm. So it's like this is a decent mall. There's not a lot of people in there <laughs> because it's such a hard place to get to. Like if there's no dedicated road to get to it, you're this freaking place no one's going to go to or even think about. Mm-hmm. And yep. uh, so basically it's I went to the mall. I went and checked out the store she mentioned. And the store, all the store ever had was basically like pillows and like weird other like tchotchke cups and and trays and whatever, but they all have a white background with black font with like quotes from famous people with inspirational quotes with like, uh, you know, you go mom and all this junk on it. And, and I was like, fuck, like I, I like, I like my sister-in-law. I think she's kind of like a nice person and neat, but I'm like, this stuff is just so, I, I feel trivial and stupid. And so the more I was looking at it, I was like, well, I'll get her this dumb pillow. But I was like, I could just make this myself. So the more I thought about it, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to make her a gift. So I bought a pillow from the stupid store because it's like, well, I got to get her something in case the thing I'm making falls through or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
and this, the gif I decided to start making her was like, oh, well, I'll get some paints and I'll get like a tray from somewhere and I'll just redo it like it's a tray that's from that stupid store that's overpricing other garbage. And I was I was thinking of doing that. And I was like, well, hold on. She has on her Facebook page a whole bunch of inspirational quote stuff on her. It's either like her kids or inspirational quotes or talking about something else. And usually that something else is just random. And I was like, well, since she likes kind of poetic stuff, I was like, I could just, you know, find something poetic and put on a paint on a board. But then I also start thinking, wait, I've seen. But a lot of this poetic stuff, I just feel it's like random jumbled letters that like you just put whatever you want together and you make a poetic thing. And I was like, oh, I've seen these fridge magnets that you can make your own poetic phrases. I was thinking I could just buy that. But I was thinking, no, fuck that. I'll just hand make all of these fucking little letters and names and this all this stuff and just get the magnet paper from Michael's, <laughs> put, put all the words on the magnet paper and cut them all out. And that's what I've been fucking doing for the past couple days mm -hmm. is cutting out all these different words on, onto fucking magnet paper. And fuck it, it felt so long doing it because I, I was like, oh, I'll just cut these out, blah, yada, yada. And then I'm realizing, oh, I'm cutting these wrong. They're not straight. The, the, you see the black where the magnet is. And I'm like, fuck. So I have to re <laughs> redo cutting of these fucking words and then i was like well i'm done cutting all the words but now i'm like what if she has no f space on her fridge oh i should make a board for her so she at least put oh the words <laughs> on this board yeah your project went from like oh this will be a quick and easy thing to like oh my god i have to spend another 20 hours doing this oh my god i, I think the last part is gonna be super easy because i already bought the board from the store i work and like the board's pretty decent. Like it shows like a lot of, you know, wood grain and all this junk. And I was thinking if I have some leftover magnets, like magnet strips, I can just put the magnet strips on this board. Maybe like get my dad's engraver and, or like, like like engraver or whatever. And just like take off a, a, just a little bit of layer on each, like just uh, like just thin, thin lines going through the whole thing and put the magnets in those thin lines. And then we can just glue it and then <laughs> fucking cover it in some sort of i don't know sealant slash like <laughs> slash like um uh what's the word uh uh stain because it's again it's wood and then i'll be like hell right here's your get for christmas gift and i'll give her the board with like magnet crap on it and she's like well it's a board of black lines i don't get it and then i open up the box with all the jumbled words and be like make your poem <laughs> make your po oh, <laughs> make your poem and i i'm pretty sure she'll dig it and then if she does like the gif, I'm going to make uh, I was planning on making um, booster like word boosters to go with the this make your own poem thing, because I'd be like, well, here's your make your own poem thing. I, I made boosters. And so this booster pack is, is naughty swears. Uh, this booster oh pack <laughs> is the party pack booster pack. So uh, you spent the entire this... day. <laughs> spent like a few days. Yeah, you just spent, cutting out words. Spent the entire week doing making a gift, dude. I almost fucking did the same thing, and then I found a unicorn mug and I bought that instead. <laughs> and it was the smartest I mean, thing I ever fucking did. Well, my my biggest fear every time I'm like thinking of just buying off the internet easy is just like I'm not sure if it's gonna be here in time type of thing. So let's go. Ah, I know I can do it in time. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's usually my go-to. Is like, oh, can I get here in time? No, oh, fuck it. I'll just do it. Like, whatever. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so basically for the past couple days, I've just been hand-making these fucking magnets. And I'm put, I, so far they're in a box, but I have to go to the dollar store to get a tin. And like, you know, fancy up the tin a little bit. And then I again, make the board. And then call that a day. <laughs> Oh boy! Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I was. I, the good thing I was describing this to my uh, sister because I was like, "Would she like this?" And she go, oh, "I think she would dig it." I was like, "Cool, the dig it," because I'm doing it. Dig it. Because <laughs> I'm like halfway finished. <laughs> dig it. <laughs> yeah, freaking that's a good chunk of my week. Yeah, you spend just... your entire week working on something instead of for a game. Exactly. It's not like you haven't been working on the game while I've been in school crying. 
<laughs> it's not like I've did like <laughs> uh, probably seventy five percent of the artwork already. Mm. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna eventually add more enemies, Josh. That's why it's at seventy five percent. Yeah, good job. <laughs> So it's not like I have to do more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna have to do more. Yeah, eventually. I'll just wait until your engine, your engine thing works. Mm -hmm. Just wait for that. Mm -hmm. Uh, could always it could always be worse. Henry Cavill, um, said something interesting. Huh? Henry Cavill said, "Gaming on my own is much more fun than going out." Henry Cavill said, "Chad." Gaming's for chads. I, I mean, yes. And it also, this is the same guy that did the role of the Witcher, right? Yep. Henry Cavill would rather be at home right now without the fame, without the f attention, sitting on his gaming PC in shorts and a t-shirt playing Total Warhammer 2. I actually can totally believe that. Yes, Henry Cavill, Superman. And yes, Warhammer, the games with little plastic goblins. No, he's talking about if he's talking about Total War Warhammer, he's talking about Yeah. Total Warhammer, the RPG or an RTS, turn based RPS. You're trying to get a, your own whirly dirly thing. Yep. He's a, I mean, he sounds like a super nerd. I Good. mean, you know what? Henry Is it that statement's not wrong though. I mean, Henry Cavill is I there's a lot of things I'd rather do. I would rather not watch the new Star Wars movie. Yeah, we're not talking about that here, though. Guess what? I'm not watching that new Star Wars movie. After the last yep. one? <laughs> I mean, it's just like a tradition. My family sees it on Christmas Day, but I'm not sure we're going to do it this time. After the last one? Yeah. I mean, the f funny thing is my family can watch anything and be like, oh, that was an okay movie. And then until like a good hour, we let it set in and go, wasn't that stupid? Wasn't this stupid? Wasn't this really stupid? And we go, oh. <laughs> it's like, it's I, I, I can attest to that. Like, I saw it last night at 10 o'clock at night and didn't get home till one in the morning. And then I went to bed. And it was, it's a film. I yep. can give you that much. It's a thing. Gonna, and that's as far as I'm going with this conversation. Like, because you will go to no ends. Yeah, okay. I have a couple of problems with the movie, but I don't want to talk about it here because, again, if I do, I'm just not going to stop. So how about we detour into something else entirely? Because I actually played a video game. Uh, oh, which, yeah. which game? Uh, Monolith. It's it's a game so hard to find on Steam because I had to keep retyping it over and over just so I can find this stupid thing. Because, you know, Monolith, you think, oh, that's an original name. But <laughs> you know how many other things have Monolith in the title? Like, especially Googling it, like you get uh, you get completely other Monoliths. Like it's it's terrible, terrible. But anyway, uh. I wish I could just get a link. Oh, like, there's a store page. Here we go. I will just show share this. Because freaking it's so I, every time I try to search it on Steam it's near impossible. Um, So I played this game for a bit. What are, it's cheap. What's cheap? And it's a it's cheap and it's a um, again Monolith after the end. Oh. Yeah. At, the funny thing is when you again, when you're trying to find it on Steam, you can't find the after the end part. Oh. Mm. Because the name on Steam is Monolith. So you're trying to find this, and it's near impossible. Oh. I don't know. I still got to buy some <laughs> games on the Steam sale. I haven't bought anything. This game's only like four. <laughs> it says here four. <coughs> four it's off. On, yeah, it's 4.44 on uh, Steam, so that's pretty decent. Yeah, but I got to. It's, uh, it's a hell shooter. It is a hell shooter. And actually. Surprising I, that Josh likes a hell shooter. I was playing it a little bit. Um, I, here's the thing. I was like, oh, I want to going through my Steam. Um, my was it my wish list on Steam, and this is like the cheapest buy on my list. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember this. This is like looks. I was following the guy's Twitter for the longest time, uh -huh. and then I realized he actually put this out. And I was like, oh yeah, he put this out. And I was like, oh let's let's get this game and see and let's see how this goes. 
and I bought the game and I started trying it out and I'm like, oh, this game's actually pretty cool. But again, because this is a hell shooter, I man, I get to about level three, level two, and I'm like, I feel like I'm just shitting the bed constantly. I mean, you are like constantly. You're awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta, and, I gotta buy some games, man. I gotta, I, I haven't bought in anything recently. I bought Fallout New Vegas. You are and I'm a, at last going to play it eventually here soon. I'm gonna say something because you bought the best Fallout played, game. No, that would still go to one and two. Okay. I think a lot of people go Fallout and. Fallout 1, Fallout 2, New Vegas, or something in that order. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe reversed. Yeah. Because, like, I want to play the original Fallouts. Mm. I haven't been able to get a hold of them. Oh, just get the GOG versions. I want to play Final Fantasy. Oh, look, I actually found it. Fucking wow. I might, I, might <laughs> actually, I might actually start streaming. Well, that's a thing that we should talk about. I'm going to start streaming, guys. Why? Because I can. Do it. Because I can. Do it. I am. Do it. I'm going to. I actually consider. I was considering streaming, but I was like, eh, "Do I have enough personality? I don't want to show my face. I want to just show." Well, you don't have to show your face. You can oh yeah, that's the thing. I'm not going to show my face, but that means that we're finally going to be able to do the Undertale playthrough I want to do, where I murder everything <laughs> oh. up to a certain point. <clears throat> I mean, I I'll be sad. I mean, look, Josh. I'm not saying that I'm a terrible person. Your mic disconnected, you idiots. Oh, I'm not saying I'm a terrible person, guys. All I'm saying is that that demons need to be murdered. Uh huh. I am the doomslayer. I, you know what? I kind of like this motif. And and the only one I'm going to leave alive will be Papyrus, Uh because you need to leave one alive so that they can spread your legend. Actually, uh, uh, you don't have to leave anybody alive. Uh, Alan, we don't want to do a genocide run, period. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't understand. Um, even if you do a proper genocide run, um, somebody survives from the cast. Yeah. Alphys. Oh. You don't kill her. No. She oh, takes... Like, she takes... It... No, you don't kill her. I just don't want to yeah, fuck up. I was going to say that's interesting because I didn't realize, like, yeah, you, you, there's no opportunity to kill her. No. She, when you pa- pass through her lab, you have no interaction with her. And you pass through, I think most of, uh, of the higher the fireplace. Mm-hmm. You only run to I think like a few a few monsters, like mostly guards and stuff like yeah. that. And you and you run to Metaton, and that's the end of that. Because in that time, she evacuates everyone out of there. While you're fighting, um, um, Undyne, she's evacuating people. Mm. Uh, she already knows how horrifying you are. We're gonna, we're gonna, well, no, we're not gonna kill, we're gonna not kill everyone. Let me tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna murder ninety percent of the people that we can. Final boss, he's gonna die. Oh, and he's gonna die bad, bud. Well, he dies bad anyway. We're gonna kill him. We're we're gonna murder the fuck out of them. Murder! 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 Murder. Murder. Murder every day. <coughs> uh, yeah, we're also... I'm, I might play a game tonight. I don't know. We're going to test some live streaming capabilities. Oh, that's another... That's another thing. It's like, I have to figure out if my... How, like, if I was going to do live streaming, I would have to figure out, like, if I remotely <laughs> able to whatsoever with my current computer... Uh, you need if to upgrade it's... your computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet I could. I could probably stream like really basic shit. I don't think I could stream more complicated shit. What What you need is you need to hold on to that current computer and use it as a stream box. Oh, that yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> so I need more money. You saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because all you really need is you just need an SSD in storage. Oh, yeah. That works. Mm -hmm. (coughs) Anyways. What else? Uh, Anyways. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, 
we'll touch on impeachment a bit. Okay. So Trump got impeached by the Democrats. No, he didn't. Well, they still have to hand over the fucking yes, things. They, they, have to, they, have, they have to go over. Well, they have to go through fucking. They have to go to the Senate, and Nancy Pelosi isn't handing it over. Um, but so by the way, uh, what this means is they know they're wrong. Mm. Because uh, the Senate has to deliberate it in the Senate House. Yeah. Um, which is fucking funny. Um, and the fact that they don't want to hand it over means, like, three things. Um, and the fact that it got through even though it was, like... I, I, although I am proud of Tulsi Gabbard. I am very proud of her. Tulsi Gabbard and Andrew Yang are the two best candidates for the Democrats right now. And it's funny because uh, the only reason why this actually happened was because Joe Biden is an established Democrat. Pretty much. And this is not me saying but this, this. But this is, but this is, but this is beside the point at this point. We're, but not, we're not going into like the things. Yeah. No. All we're saying is he got impeached. Kind of, sort of. We're just waiting for the end results of them handing it over to the Senate, which is probably just going to shoot it down because it looks like it's absolute, entirely bullshit. It, it is. It is. It is. Because really at the end of the day, and I, d I don't want to get into this really badly, but really at the end of the day, we all know the end game. We all know what's going to happen in the end. We all know that he's not going to get impeached. But we also have to keep in mind that like when he gets... Uh, when he does, if he does get impeached, like this is basically just fueling the Republicans. Like all they have to sit there and do is we never impeach your president. Yep, pretty so much. So they instantly, you just gave the Dem um, the Republicans the biggest gun ever. Loaded and all. So that's all. Anyways, it's that show. I think that's a show. Hey, thank you all for listening to the Black Mind Podcast. Episode 230. Oh my god, we've only been recording for 36 minutes. It's almost like we're all it's, tired. Yeah, we're... It's not that we're tired, it's just there's not really much to talk about this week for us. Because it's Christmas. Well, It's like, man, what, what else can we talk about? We could talk <sighs> about bullshit. Nah, I'm I'm good. Mm -hmm. Like I shouldn't. When we start to uh, shoot the shit for bullshit, it just it it gets boring. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're not going to. Thank you all for listening, and have a good night. Or actually, no. Let me you rephrase that. You, 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 thank you. For, you didn't tell them where we could uh, listen to the podcast. There, dude. Thank you for listening to the Black Mind Games podcast. You can listen to us every Thursday on BlackMindGames.podbean.com. You can also listen to us on your YouTube. Or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Thank you for all my cocos. Thank you for listening. Have a good night. Yeah. This is going to be. Sh I bought um, Las Vegas, uh, Fallout Las Vegas, for like seven bucks, and I was like, fuck it, done. Fallout New Vegas? Cool. Good for you. Mostly because I really want to fucking play it eventually, but... Mm -hmm. I kind of want to buy them for my Switch. But I'll wait a bit. Uh, do you guys want to start the show? I'm ready. I'm recording now. Okay. I'm ready! Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll touch on we'll touch on impeachment a little bit and then we'll um just go into something else. Uh -huh. I don't think we should spend too much time on impeachment because it's just gonna be like it, there's it, it, really nothing to talk about. It, it, all it is this is just partisan bullshit. So mm -hmm. yeah. Uh so think in three, two, one.